Folks, I'd like you to meet Jim Blocky, a teacher with biblical morals and values. He wants to get back to basics and ensure that today's children have the freedoms our forefathers designed in the Constitution. He wants to see the next generation prosper and know the true history of America. How would that happen? Teach the basics. Children need to learn reading, writing, mathematics, and history from trained professionals in a school setting. Respect, cultural values, and sex education should be taught at home. Children need to know how to think for themselves. This is taught through reading. A child who can read well will do the research required to form an opinion. A child who does not read well will not. It is that simple. America will get back to the basics if the next generation is taught the basics. My vote is for Jim Blocky. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jim Blocky with Real Ed Aid. And what that means is simply we all know education has a real problem and in dire need of help or aid. And that's what this video log will be all about, helping or giving aid to education. You see, I believe America can make a great comeback. Now, there are reasons America is losing its power and positive influence on the world. That's the enemy has infiltrated us, and we know them as liberals. And they have us teaching liberal subjects in our classrooms today. You know what? Just because you're a citizen of America does not mean you're a real American. You see, real Americans follow the guidelines set up by our founders. These are known as laws. You know, for instance, immigration has specific guidelines with the end result being an immigrant who has assimilated to America's culture. And if this were not accomplished within five years, the immigrant was to be sent back. That's what our founders believed in. But thanks to many of these liberal anti-Americans today, if you concur with this sentiment, you're considered a racist or a bigot. The Bible. Our founding fathers used the Bible to interpret right from wrong, as well as it was America's moral compass. They realized if it did not continue that way in America's future, America's future would be in severe peril as it is today. John Adams said our Constitution was made only for a moral and religious or Christian people. It is wholly inadequate for the use of any other. He was basically saying, take away the Bible, and you take away our America. First Amendment, that was mainly to protect Christians by preventing the government from selecting a specific sect or denomination for our nation to follow, as what happened in England. It was never intended to protect liars, pornography, or allow the press to promote an agenda. You know what? The press was actually to keep all elected officials accountable. Yes, all of them, not just the conservatives. Second Amendment, how about that? That was to ensure all American citizens had the ability to possess the same weapons as our enemies, foreign and domestic, to protect us from tyranny and to protect our families. Now, I understand we're not going to possess bombs, rockets, and probably not nukes either. However, we must be able to protect ourselves, and that is what the Second Amendment was about, not for hunting. Now, my vlog is going to point out how our education system has totally failed our country. How it has failed to teach the true history of this great, great country. How it has failed to teach the proper way to teach reading, which has prevented the ability for us to think for ourselves. How education has totally failed to edify discipline. And I will also comment on current events and how our education system may have directly or indirectly been the cause of those events or how those events may affect education. Most importantly, I will talk about solutions. And believe me, the solutions in repair and education are not that difficult. It will take some brave politician, but the fact is the solutions are simple. So I just hope you are enlightened by my vlogs. And I sincerely look forward to your comments. This is Jim Blocky with Real Ed Aid.